Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. What I have here today is not just some junked out half-built Sato engine. This was an engine I featured real quickly in a, a teaser video. This actually isn't a, an engine at all at this point. This is just the pieces all just kind of thrown together. This was a project I just picked up, I don't know, a week or so ago from a buddy here. I tore it down and cleaned up all the parts and instead of just letting the parts sit in a bin, most of them anyway, I just kind of threw them back together just for the heck of it. So this is actually a part, an engine that I've not run yet that's just kind of sitting here waiting for me to get bearings actually, which now I've got bearings. So it's really just kind of ramshackled thrown together here. <clears throat> but this engine was in decent shape, I guess. It needed some stuff. This rocker arm cover here is pretty bad. It's pitted and nasty and is never going to look good again. So, um, not much I can do with that. This one here is not too bad. I don't think I'm going to invest in new rocker arm covers because I'm pretty sure the ones for a 150 would fit and I've seen those available. Um, this exhaust header, let me zoom in here a bit. This exhaust header actually had a crack in it, which was unfortunate because this is the official, the stock exhaust header that comes with this old Sato 120 fat head as I call them. Uh, it had a nice big crack there. So I've just put some JB Weld on it. And hopefully that'll hold. This thing's had about five days to cure, so you know, it's going to be a few days before I run it anyway. So that was an issue with that. This carb was in good shape. It actually has the choke mechanism. But uh, this has all been cleaned up, reassembled. Crankcase was pretty filthy. I've got pictures that I'll probably put at the beginning of this video that show the condition it was in. I already had a bearing for the front, so that's been sitting in there. <clears throat> Timing cover has been cleaned up. This was really pretty nasty looking. I didn't shoot videos of me disassembling this engine. This was one of those ones where I just kind of wanted to play with it without uh, having to be under the camera. So that's what I did. This head, I dropped the valves and everything, cleaned that all up. Here's something I want to show you though, if I can get this to come out. The rubber pieces on this engine were in really bad shape. <clears throat> and they're unusable, they were torn and just crappy. So what I've done here with this, let me move this out of the way. And this is how I'm going to get around buying new rubber pieces because I'm not sure how readily they available they are. Anyway, I just put some heat shrink tubing, two layers of heat shrink tubing. The first one just to go around there and I shrunk that down and then I used the same size heat shrink tubing and didn't shrink it. I just kind of lubed it up and just wallered it on there and then I shrunk it just a little bit. And that, that works quite well for fitting inside the head here. Now I'm going to do something very similar here. You can see, let me take one of these out again. This actually kind of looks like the pushrod tube actually kind of fits inside of a cup here. And then the outer rubber goes around it. What I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to put another piece of heat shrink tubing on it, but I'm going to leave it, uh, the metal tube extent, exposed just a little bit so it can seat nicely in there. And then I'll do the same thing I did here, put another piece over the top that's larger and not shrunk down. And then when I go to reassemble this, I'll put it in position like that. And then once it's completely assembled, then I'll kind of hit it with a little bit of heat shrink or a little bit of heat and shrink it up. And that should work just fine for replacing the rubber components on this engine. Uh, let's see here. I've got my crankshaft here, nice and clean. Like I said, I didn't take videos the first time. Suffice it to say, this thing looked really nasty. This engine didn't look like it had a ton of runtime on it. There was some carbon uh, on the va exhaust valve stem and some on the top of the piston, but it wasn't a whole lot. 
it looked like it had been run for, I don't know, I can't even tell you how long it had been run, but it looked like it had sit, sat more than it had been run, or at least it had been sitting for the last few years. The bearings were completely shot in it. So, anyway, I've got this stuff now, and I've got the, I had to order a, let me zoom out here just a hair, I had to get a gasket set because all the gaskets were destroyed. And then here's my other bearing that I haven't installed yet. So, <clears throat> I'm just very doubtful that I'm going to uh, make a video of me putting this back together. But there will definitely be videos. Oh, see. Uh, seems like it's got good compression. There will definitely be videos of me running this engine. And I plan on doing some static thrust readings on this engine, too. So, uh, that's kind of an idea of what's going on with this particular project. And, uh... Those of you that don't know, take a look at that. Pretty nasty looking, but hey look, I don't have a band-aid on right now. Doesn't hurt, provided I don't nail it. I think I fared fairly well on that. Very lucky. Anyway, have a good day and watch for this engine to be on stand running very soon.